Blade is one of the sharpest tools ever created. It is used for shaving and hair removal, while protecting the skin from large cuts that can be dangerous. Each blade goes through a long tempering process that hardens the blade to improve its toughness and resistance. But how are razor blades made? Humanity began shaving over 30,000 years ago using rocks as blades. Since ancient times, these tools have been part of the personal care and hygiene of the male population. The first shaving instruments were created in ancient Egypt, consisting of razors made from various materials such as bronze. Before entering temples, priests had to shave. Even in Greece and Rome, tools for men's shaving were created. For these civilizations, the ideal of beauty was a hairless body. The Romans shaved before going to war to prevent their enemies from pulling their beards, as this could become a disadvantage. Gradually, these tools improved to obtain blades with fine cutting edges, some of them made of iron. Over time, those who dedicated themselves to making these razors continued working on optimizations and began to use steel. However, razor blades still posed a considerable risk of cuts, so there was a great need to improve the tools. In the mid-19th century, the first barber shops emerged, and later the first two-piece razor blade was born, with a double-edged blade and a reusable handle. This product became popular, replacing the old razor. It was then that King Camp Gillette manufactured the innovative razor blade, the first model that could guarantee truly efficient and safe operation. Tired of suffering cuts during shaving with traditional tools, Gillette decided to make his proposal by creating a product that was not only efficient, but also disposable and economical. The personal need he had was shared with the rest of the male population, and his idea was a total success. Over time, factories made razor blades a more sophisticated and easy-to-use product. 75% of men worldwide shave every day, with about 25,000 hairs per beard, growing at an average of 12 millimeters each month. Most of these men will cut about 200 kilometers of hair during their lifetime, and if they use the more expensive disposable blades, they will probably spend over $5,000. These blades are made from sheets of stainless steel that are as thin as they are sharp. But before they have their well-known characteristics, the steel undergoes a long process where temperatures play a key role. The material is exposed to both high and low temperatures and also comes into contact with some specific substances. Every tiny detail contributes to give the correct shape to each blade. This is because the manufacture of razor blades is carried out through automated processes and the use of the best equipment and technologies. Everything starts with a strip of stainless steel, that is, an elongated, curved, and extremely thin piece that is only one-tenth of a millimeter thick. The process begins with a punching machine. The strip is inserted into it to stamp out the basic shape of the blades. The result of this process is known as preforms. The stainless steel at this stage is still a very soft and flexible material that can be compared to paper. Therefore, it undergoes a four-step heat treatment process which hardens and strengthens the blade. The first step of the heat treatment is heating the preforms to a temperature of 1100 degrees Celsius for 30 seconds. The second step is tempering. The preforms are immersed in cold water for a short time. Then, the blades pass through a cooling chamber at 50 degrees below zero for 20 seconds to rearrange their molecular structure and thus achieve hardening the steel. Although this also makes the material brittle, hence, the fourth step is reheating the preforms for 20 seconds. The manufacturing process continues by taking the hardened performs to the printer. The company's logo or brand identification is stamped onto them. Then, the drying process of the wet ink is done with gas flames to ensure immediate drying. Next, another phase begins with the help of the grinding machine to finally turn the preforms into blades. All of them are introduced into this machine, which has three grinding bases that sharpen the contour and create two extremely sharp cutting edges. Next, the blades are taken to a polishing machine to remove any burrs that may result from grinding. This machine also separates the razor blades that have been attached so far. Quality control begins at this point in the production line. The manufacturer's laboratory team takes samples and examines various aspects such as the characteristics of the grinding, 
to verify that it is adequate. They also inspect the angle of the cutting edges. But quality control is not yet complete. All blades are carefully inspected by technicians to determine if there are any minimal defects. The blades are grouped into batches of 800, then they are illuminated with fluorescent light on the cutting edges. This makes any defect noticeable at a glance, and then the defective blades are discarded. The blades that pass the quality test continue the manufacturing process. They are washed with a solvent to remove all possible contaminants and then dried. Once the blades are clean and dry, they are taken to a vacuum chamber where a chrome base coat is applied to their surface. This helps the edges to obtain greater hardness and resistance to wear. Next, nozzles are used to spray a coating. This helps the razor blades glide smoothly and gently over the skin for a pleasant and safe shaving experience. To ensure that the coating adheres to the surface of the blades, they are baked at 350 degrees Celsius for a period of 20 minutes. After this time, another quality control phase is carried out. Then, the team of technicians take samples again, in this case, to verify that the blades meet the strength requirements. A machine measures the force, making the blades cut a fairly thick bundle of wet paper to a certain depth level. Once this aspect has been checked, the production process of the blades continues. The razor blades are submerged in organic oil for half an hour. The goal is to add extra protection to prevent corrosion, thus extending the lifespan and ensuring that the user has a quality product for a longer period. Then the packaging chain begins. Each of the razor blades is individually wrapped in wax paper. This paper also provides protection for the blades against corrosion during storage time. The paper is strong enough to prevent the sharpness of the blades from cutting or piercing it. When packaging is complete, the razor blades are distributed to various points for commercialization. Each blade has a lifespan of approximately six shaves. Many men believe that the traditional razor blade provides the closest shave. They are as thin as paper, but sharp enough to cut even the thickest beard. If you want to know how wine is made, watch the video on your screen. And please like the video if you enjoyed it and share it with someone who might be interested. Also, subscribe to this channel by activating the notifications to continue learning. Thanks for watching.